Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if you're having an issue with right clicking and copying and pasting not working properly on your Windows computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing you want to do is go ahead and open up the command prompt. So open up the start menu, type in CMD. Best match is a command prompt. You want to go ahead and select Run as Administrator over here on the left side. So just go ahead and left click on Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select Yes. Now I'm going to have a command in the description of my video, guys. I want you to copy it from my description. So highlight over it and then tap the Control and C key on your keyboard at the same time. So again, the Control and the C key. C is in cat. So Control and C. Tap those two keys and then go over the command prompt tap control and V to paste. So again, control V, V as in Victor, paste, control C as in cat, that's copy. Go ahead and hit enter. And once you've done that, hopefully that's been able to resolve the problem. And if not, something else we could try if we open up the search and type in control panel, type in control panel, best result, should come back with control panel. Go ahead and open that up. Say your view by to large icons, and then you want to select mouse. You want to make sure where it says switch primary and secondary buttons is not checkmarked, so make sure it's unchecked. And once you've done that, you should be good to go. So applying, okay? Again, that's if you had to make a change there. One further thing you can try here as well, if you're still having a problem, would be to open up the start menu again. Type in CMD. Best result should say command prompt. Go ahead and again select run as administrator. Select yes. And now you want to type in SFC followed by a space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word. Attach that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. Okay, so once you're done that, close out of here and then restart your computer. So there you go guys, pretty straightforward process, and as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. Do buzz it will help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.